Hello, and welcome to our new show, Maestro and Maestro. Wait, <laughs> that's it's, not right. It's Maestro and... Moron. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Maestro and Moron. Clearly, I am the moron. <laughs> and uh, Tim here. We're all morons at heart. Is the Maestro. I don't know about that, but... We're just gonna, we're gonna draw. We're gonna do some improv. I am going to have some prompts for tim and uh i have my little olive garden menu kids menu drawing pad down here in the the bottom corner of the screen so tim's the the good artist i'm gonna give him some suggestions down here throw some wrenches you know while he's drawing i have no art ability at all and i can assure you that uh i'm i'm not just saying that i am actually bad you, you know since most artists just say that they're bad, even though they're amazing. So are you, are you, are you saying you actively pursue being bad at art? You know, I, I just, I try to not work on being a better artist. So yeah, you, you could say that. <laughs> so as the moron, I'm going to be asking Tim questions of how he does things. And so it'll be, you know, an educational experience for those of you who are experienced artists and those of you who are dummies. So it's, it's sort of like, you know how to art for dummies as yes, well yes. as let's insult improv our audience. No, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh let's get started. Today we're gonna do a prop. And a prop prompt. You might have noticed, but I picked a crayon brush to fit. I think I think it's very fitting. And I'll be drawing with this over here. <laughs> wow, that's a chonky that's a chonky boy. <laughs> that's a real chonker. <laughs> <laughs> the computer can't even keep up with it. So our prompt today is going to be a shield, but it's not just going to be a normal shield. shield. It's going to be a plant shield. I almost heard like planet shield. It defends the entire planet. Dude, I'm down for planet shield. Can it be a planet plant shield? But yeah, I also heard the, the plant shield. We'll draw our little prompts over here. What should we do? Like a storm shield? What kind of shield are we thinking here? Right? Here, I'm gonna give you a. Uh, I'm gonna give you a starting place. Oh man. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you two options. Hold on. Here we go. We're gonna go. Something like that. Okay. Um. What if I use that as like a a, a motif or design motif? Ex you can use it however you want. Okay, it doesn't we'll necessarily to have my... to so... look exactly like that. But another. I'm gonna it's either go... a tail or a turd. I'm gonna go with uh. You know, something like... These are some nice shapes. You know, it kind of looks like a little fire. Oh, I was going to uh, say it's a turd and a hook. Turd and a hook, that too. You know, and you know what? Hold on. Just going to... I think you're better at drawing than me. <laughs> Give it a little <laughs> smiley face. There we go. You know what? This one needs one too. You know what? This actually it's kind gets of like me, a snail. This gets me thinking. Let's, let's do... I'm going to play around with silhouettes really quick here. So I'm going to make a new layer. I've got some ideas here. What if we... Here. So it's not a plant. It's a planter. Mm. Planter Wait, shield. a planter? I'll do a kind of a th sort of top-down three-quarter view a little bit. Oh, by the way, I am actually using MS Paint right now. Really? I, no one... I don't think anyone's going to be able to tell. You <laughs> know, <laughs> the, true, the true artist will be able to tell. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's going to be a pretty basic plant because I... Or a uh, shield-shaped silhouette. But I think the more interesting part is going to be the uh, final construction and sort of combination of things. Right now, I'm kind of just playing around with the base silhouette of it. So I'm going to go against everything you said. <laughs> you can go your own way, kids. Everybody, go your own way. <laughs> okay, now that's kind of like the general shape that I want, I'm just going to um, apply some color to it. I'm going to go into my shadows, and now I'm just going to start make it a little bit red. And now there's a little bit of hue to it. So I'm just gonna go hit Control U to hit my hue saturation and push that up a little bit. And I'm going for like a, sort of that red clay look that you see in every planter. Your kind of standard. Oh, just like a just like a regular color. potted plant. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. So I'm gonna kind of find a nice mid tone, a little saturated there. That looks nice. Actually, I'm gonna try this. There's this new selection tool. Is this? I think it's that auto select thing. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it's perfect. That's awesome. So we're gonna fill that in. Okay, so now we're gonna. I want this to be a shadow, so we're going to push this a little bit cooler. It's a little too cool. Too cool for school. So uh, I noticed you're not drawing any lines. Um, is there a particular reason why you're not doing lines versus, like, just the color first? 
Uh, yeah, so I kind of want to just jump right straight into painting and there's definitely a different mentality and kind of mindset for painting versus drawing, at least with me and my brain. <laughs> so like for me to draw something versus painting it, it's, it's such a different feeling and kind of outcome a lot of times. Whereas drawing, you're, you're using line to create form and volume, which line doesn't necessarily exist in you know, in reality or in the world, we kind of create that for our paintings and whatnot. Like you don't look at a person and see a line around them or anything like that. Tim, are you saying I don't exist? Uh, if in the line world, yes. <laughs> but Tim, if I don't have lines, how can I be a 2D anime <laughs> waifu? Well, I've got some bad news for you. <laughs> Tim, you're shattering my hopes and dreams. So what are the pros and cons of like drawing uh, and painting instead of uh, drawing? Or, uh, uh, yeah, so uh, some, for me at least, I tend to, if I'm just going straight into painting, I tend to have like thicker, chunkier shapes, but then the downfall is I find myself having less detail to them, which I don't think that's necessarily the worst thing because it kind of helps push my art look in a specific direction. Like I can have a little bit different variations in looks based on how I'm starting my process. And you can always like add in detail at like the end or over top, or is it like kind of yeah, baked in? Uh, sometimes I'll do that where I'll, I'll make a new layer and kind of push things back a little bit and then I'll draw over top of it and just kind of use my, my painting as like a sort of like a tracing board or something. I actually do that quite a bit, which I can show you kind of like this. So let's say it's going to be a uh, sword. So we might be like, I want to focus on the silhouette shape really first. So I want to make that very distinct. So maybe it's just a simple short design like this. And then I might take that layer and just lower the opacity and then make a new layer over top that. Oh. And now this is like my, this is my drawing palette. So I would just use this to sort of maybe doodle internal details and just kind of play around with uh, some motifs and shapes. I feel like that's a luxury you don't really have with like regular old paper you can do it with regular paper but that's kind of you know your classic old school tracing techniques and things like that let's just add a few little plants in here in our planter some sweet sweet succulents i'm trying to get that like front leaf the one coming towards me i always have problems with that one mm. so the best way to, for me to handle that is you literally just you you draw the line where you want your like leaves to go so maybe i want it up there and then once it has a plan, then you can go in and then follow that shape. And I'll just make it brighter to pull it forward. So perspective. Yeah, but with color. But with color. Kind of. You're just separating them. Basically. Yeah, basically I'm just adding contrast to them a little bit. Oh yeah, now we need to we need to add this. I guess I could do the fish hook thing on the front. That'd look kind of cool. Maybe it's inset into it. Or is it, do you think it would extrude? Is it extruding out or is it inset? Um, I definitely think it's inset. So it's inset. Let's let's imagine the lighting's coming down from above. So this is going to be our, our top down lighting. And then this is going to be that sweet, sweet bevel action that I always love doing. Walk me through your bevel process. So I usually just think of bevel. I'm thinking of bevel and then I'm also thinking of perspective and dimension. So since... I'm using this as the bottom bevel, and I know I'm looking down at the plant or at the object, so I know that my bevel's going to have like this look to it. So I want to have it here, and I know that's on the bottom. So that's helping the bevel's actually helping me add perspective to this as well. So it mm. show up there. It might show up a little bit here because that's kind of curving in. It's going to show up a little bit in here. So now it's starting to look like there's a little bit of an inset. I see. And you're using lighting as well to, or? Yeah, the, the lighting basically. It's just like the lighting's shooting downwards. So it's hitting this surface or plane. So then we have this surface, which it would be, this one's going to be darker because this one's getting direct light right here. That makes sense even for me. Yeah. So who do you think this, uh, the shield is for? Uh, someone that has not used a shield very much because I've ever known these plant, these plant potters, that things break really easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do like the idea of like, just like a poorly made shield. It's like, it's, <laughs> it's a shield. All right. But it's like, it's not good at shielding things. It can, it can, you know, ward off like minor attacks. It's kind of like the, um, it's like stormtrooper armor. <laughs> What's the purpose of stormtrooper armor? 
lasers can just go right through. <laughs> really quickly, here's yeah. a little thing that I, I kind of like messed up and I wasn't paying attention. But if you look down here, this is sort of a confusing area because it doesn't really make sense in perspective. So if it's the tops here and it's going down and then you have this shape going like this. And then for some reason I drew it going like that. But really it should be, if you think about the shield, it's going to have a depth and it's going back like this. Like it should follow the same angle here. Mm. Okay, so then so, how do you rectify that now? So to rectify it, all I'll do is just go like this. And then make sure that that follows that angle. And now it's already looking better. I could also just like push it down a little bit further. And then it's pushing it back now. So you see this is like, it's going to recede down and out of out of perspective or out of view. Okay. Probably would get darker as it goes away because it's not going to be hitting as much light down there either. I feel like uh, the people who are making these shields have to be like maybe some like tree gnomes or elves, you know, some like plant loving. They're, they're warriors wouldn't find much much battle or use actual <laughs> use out of these. Are, these are more for decoration. Are you trying to say we're dealing with hippie trees? Yeah, hippie tree people, I think. Hippie plant people, for sure. <laughs> yeah, and this could be, like, part of the Royal Guard's uh, outfit or uniform. I wonder if it would you... Would we see a little bit of the handle at the back here, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. What do you think that would handle would be? Is it leather? Is it wood? What are we doing here? Mm, well, you know, if they're plant-loving people, probably not leather. I would go with maybe, like, a plant fiber um, or hemp. Maybe Ooh, we could do where maybe what it is because it would be kind of hard to attach stuff to this, I guess. Well, I guess you could like build a rope into the side here and here or have it wrap around. That might look kind of cool. Let's do, you know, let's do this, this rope stuff you're talking about. What if you maybe put some holes into it and have like the rope not sticking out like right here and here? Oh, like it goes through it or something? Like it goes through, kind of like Maybe a... Maybe a big old knot a little bit more. Out. Yeah, like a big old knot. Oh, I like that kind idea. handcrafted, you know? Yeah, so this, maybe this is the points where they pop out here and here and here. And yeah. then we have... This way it feels very uh, homey, I guess. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it feels friendlier. You can feel the... Someone, someone crafted this with care. It kind of looks like there's like a little candy eye sticking out or something. Yeah, they, they do like, like little candy things. Maybe they like candy. Yeah, we'll just push into the cute. Also, I added in, you know, a lot of these very detailed uh, line work, you know. Feel free to <laughs> spend all your time <laughs> uh, doing those. That's some nice little patterns you got going on over there. Maybe we'll bring a few of those elements in. Mm, see? Look at this guy. They said he was hopeless. They said... <laughs> He's an inspiration to all of us. Look at me now. <laughs> I can make swirls. I'm so good at it. Yeah, I think, like... Any more than that, it's going to get a little too crazy for the kind of style we're shooting for here. You don't want it too busy. Yeah. Might actually just grab this one and duplicate it. The lazy. Efficient, I think, is the word that you're looking for. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm really efficient. I think, like, some shadows on this will probably help sell these actually being... Because right now they look like they're floaty. I don't have anything mm. weighting them down. I see a little bit of that rope coming out the back. So I feel like maintaining these uh, shields is, you know, is a whole thing. It's like a, a whole chore, too. Yeah, they got to water their armor every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> you know, I'm going to name this Gnome Elf. It's uh, an elf, actually. It's a new race. You know, that also sounds like it could be some sort of offensive slang. And I apologize. Oh, I was thinking it was the Nelf Guardians <laughs> from the, the Vitcher. <laughs> Oh, is that a thing? No, it's off-brand Witcher. It's the Witcher. <laughs> oh, okay. The it's Witcher. It's the German version. <laughs> I feel like the um, the little symbol there needs some texture or color or something in there. Did you say glow? <gasps> no. <laughs> Absolutely. Anytime you can add a glow, add a glow. I'm all for it. <laughs> Maybe there's like an internal shape inside this. That kind of looks cool like that. Some color variation in there. Well, now I want it to glow. <laughs> the, the lightsaber sound effects <laughs> perfect Ooh, that classic tim hue yeah there you go it's glowing i think i think it should be a little bit more a little greener a little greener yeah we got some glow too a little bit of bloom 
That actually does look pretty good like that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what this means. What, what does it mean, Tim? Where there's bright light, there's bounce light. Can't forget the bounce light. And then just I'm gonna soften a few lines really quick again. There we go. I think we're done. Look at this thing. I love it. Aw, uh -huh. thanks, moron. <laughs> thanks, maestro. <laughs> you know, I feel like I've learned a lot. Have you learned a lot, audience? They can't yeah, answer us. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Like, I was doing a door a bit, okay? Damn. Oh, okay. I... It looks great. I'm proud of you. Thanks. We did it. I'm proud of you, Trace. I love the colors. I actually like yours. Yours looks really cute. Yeah, thanks. It's got a lot of Wind Waker vibes. Yeah, yours looks like it'd be like a nice, uh, sort of like a metal, some sort of sweet gateway. Mm, yeah. Well, that is a very lovely shield. Um, you're welcome, Tim. Uh, it's all my brilliant... Mm -hmm. <laughs> ideas um <laughs> without you I, I would be left with this um but you, you kind of made it a little bit better i guess slightly maybe yeah. i don't i like your version too both good both good um anyway thanks for watching guys and uh see you next time bye